When you enroll in NASM, you can expect to learn the foundational principles that are involved in exercise science, biomechanics, and kinesiology. What you're also going to learn is how to put that information into a program for a client. That program is the OPT model. It takes into consideration not only the individual and their needs, but also the environment in which they're performing. So whether that's an individual working out in a gym, or if it's an elite athlete playing basketball, it doesn't matter, it takes the entire three-dimensional approach approach of that human into what they want to accomplish for their goals. The OPT model is not just for athletes. It can be even more important for individuals who have special needs, whether it's senior citizens, clinically obese, where they have heart disease or diabetes, because we can take those specific individual needs and then apply them into their exercise program to get the results that they're looking for and improve overall quality of life. We'll start with an assessment. We'll assess the client's goals, needs, and abilities. One of the most common assessments that we do at NASM is what's called the overhead squat assessment. What I'm doing here is I'm looking for symmetry on both of his sides, as well as his ability to move in the primary components of the kinetic chain. So his foot and ankle complex. I'm also going to look at his knees, what his hips are doing, and then what's going on at his shoulders. We look at that client from the front, from the side, and the back to make sure that they're moving exactly the way they should be moving. By being able to look at how a client moves, that gives us clues of what exercises we should use. And once we gather all that information, then we can create a systematic program that will progress them up the levels. The Optimum Performance Training Model is a systematic and integrated approach aimed to get any client to any goal. It's five phases that are split into three levels, stabilization, strength, and power. Stabilization means we're going to work on endurance, we're going to work on stability of your joints, we're going to work on posture. The first phases are made for deconditioned individuals, and it builds this very solid foundation of stability that then moves someone up to the next level, which is strength. We're going to add load and mass to your workout, so we're going to use a little bit heavier weights, uh, we're going to move a little bit faster, and we're going to get your muscles stronger. Once we have good stability and we have good strength, then we can add in the power stuff that everybody likes to do. So it's an integrated training system. We use flexibility training, core training, balance training, plyometric or reactive training, even speed agility and quickness training, and combine that with resistance training and cardiovascular to create a complete program. The optimum performance training model yields superior results because it allows for greater core strength and it also improves balance. The optimum performance training model is proprietary to NASM. The OPT model was developed over several years and then it was validated by researchers at one of the leading institutions for sports medicine. You're getting some of the best science out there combined with a, a model that's been proven in a clinical setting. You don't need to have any prior experience in kinesiology or exercise science. We're going to teach you all of those things. It's important for prospective personal trainers to get this type of education because everyone has unique needs and unique goals. So the OPT model allows you to assess and evaluate each client differently and then implement intervention and training strategies that make most sense for that client.